my foreign viewers who aren't aware, Wales is a country in the UK next to England. There it is, there on the left. Wales is famous for its rugged coastline, mountainous national parks, and not forgetting the Celtic Welsh language. It also has some of the best roads in the UK, which is why Top Gear Film here and Evo Magazine does a lot of its photo shoots here on the three marked roads now known as the Evo Triangle. What is up guys? So I finally made it into Wales as you can see. Welsh Wales. Lovely green hills everywhere and sheep everywhere. Um, and yeah, I'm quite excited to be going out today to the Top Gear Road. Um, I should be stopping in a minute because according to my navigation that's talking to me, I'm only five minutes away. So I can't tell you the exact um, names of the places because I literally just shoved it into Google Maps and uh, just pressed the start and then just went went for it. But um, I will stop when I reach point A on the map because there's uh, three points. So I'll stop there and I'll show you the road sign so if anyone else is interested you can uh, look it up yourself using the name of the uh, village that I'll be stopping at. Alright then, see you in a minute. All right guys, so I have made it out to the famous Top Gear Road. Here is the sign that will let you know where it is. Do a bit of Googling and you shall find it. And there's my baby. So I've done, from this direction, basically where this hill is, is another road that goes around the backside. It's kind of, obviously it's called the Evo Triangle because Evo magazine used to use it. So it's like there, there, there. Um, now the other section, I've got to say, it was a little bit disappointing. Um, lots and lots of speed cameras and lots of sheep on the road that you kind of have to be careful about. Um, now the previous section was a lot of straights so it was kind of like you could, you, you could if you wanted to go like flat out like 160 on these roads um, but there's just too many speed cameras. So this road haven't gone on this bit yet so we're going to go check it out but right around that corner there is a speed camera and it's an average speed camera so i think what i'm going to have to do is just go fast for a couple of miles and go really slow then go fast again then go really slow but anyway without without further ado let's let's get it on all righty then let's go and check out what the rest of this road has to offer impossible oh, this this place took me hours and hours to get to and it's just like you really can't enjoy it as soon as you get any speed up you come around the corner and there's a speed camera obviously there's signs everywhere saying speed cameras but the sneaky bastards put them like on corners behind trees so you can't see them so yeah I mean why would you bother coming then? If you can only do 60 miles an hour, what's the point? I guess it's average though. So I guess like if you're going around the corner at 40, then another corner at 40, then another corner at 40, and then you've got a straight that you can slightly open it up on, maybe it's okay to do that. I'm not 100% sure how these average speed cameras work, but God knows at what speed I just went past that one. Oh man. Just the fun police are just kind of ruining um, nice roads. I know of course there are you know a lot of accidents and that probably costs a lot of um, taxpayers money you know calling ambulances out, calling fire trucks out, calling the police out. I can understand that and obviously people die which um, is no bueno but I mean I'm sure it, they just they just put speed cameras up to make money it's just like a stealth tax isn't it so i'm not sure what to do now <laughs> but let's carry on on this road anyway and have a look um what it looks like but I, I just i kind of i kind of can't get into it if i have to go 
slow the whole time. Do you know what I mean? Right, so if this is average speed, right, there's a camera here, so if I go past at like 10 miles an hour, is that going to calculate calculate my speed down? Is that going to save you from getting a bloody ticket? Or did that one that I just went past that probably double the speed limit already fuck me? And these are the questions that one, one should know before one comes on a hooning adventure. been a bit of a moaning bastard on this video um, <laughs> I guess what I've learned today is that if you want to have fun on your bike on the road then you just can't go to popular places you know like I, I wanted to do a whole series about um, the best roads in Britain or the most dangerous roads in Britain or whatever but every road that's well known as a bikers road has just been um, plastered with speed cameras and so you can't have any fun anymore so yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue this series or not because it just like it frustrates me too much having to do 50 or 60 miles an hour on the road that's that's you know basically a racetrack <laughs> um, but yeah I think um, compared to when I was a nipper over here in the UK um, things have really changed and I guess everywhere in the world has become a bit more safety conscious and the fun police are you know there to sort of make sure that you don't injure yourself no matter what it is whether it's like trampolines these days have got to have like nets around them so that you can't fall out of them uh you know just dumb stuff like that i think the whole world's gone a bit too health and safety crazy but oh bloody hell um but yeah i guess i can't expect it to be like it was back in the good old days the halcyon day, the halcyon, halcyon days of youth are over. So I reckon what I need to be doing next is go to the Isle of Man. Because the Isle of Man still has sections of road that has no speed limit whatsoever. And that is part of the UK, so go figure. Anyway, I hope I didn't depress you too much with my ramblings and grumblings. But uh, yeah, see you guys. <laughs> See you guys, I hope I didn't lose my license today because I did go past that speed camera quite a <laughs>